Ellie. Yes, Dara, this next game was called Frighteningly Realistic, Incredibly Violent and Immersive, all things I've been described as on Guardian Soulmates. <laughs> it's Wolfenstein 3D. <laughs> Despite being known as the original first-person shooter, 1992's Wolfenstein 3D wasn't the first game to combine a first-person perspective with baddy blasting. For instance, here's the 1988 Apple Mac game The Colony, which featured 3D graphics rendered in real time and a soundtrack painstakingly recorded by trapping a wasp in a biscuit tin. <laughs> But Wolfenstein 3D did offer many of the FPS elements we know and love, like free movement in a maze-like environment, various weapons to collect, and a gory obsession with pixelated headshots. It was the unofficial sequel to the largely forgotten Castle Wolfenstein from 1981, which didn't have quite the same visceral impact, although the sound effects could give you nightmares. <laughs> Wolfenstein 3D takes place during World War II, and you're playing as BJ Blazkowicz, a gruff US soldier escaping from a vast Nazi castle. And before you ask, the BJ stands for Bill Joseph. He blows enemies away with guns, nothing else. <laughs> this was one of the first games to let you modify the graphics and create your own levels, leading to unofficial versions starring Batman, Barney the Dinosaur, and even a biblical game called Super 3D Noah's Ark, where instead of shooting Nazis, you use a catapult to shoot food at animals until they fall asleep. Hashtag blessed. <laughs> but most of all, people remember Wolfenstein 3D for its historical accuracy. In particular, the climactic boss fight against giant cyborg Hitler. That definitely happened, right? 